What a great way to start a video. 183 lizard men. Let's see if we can get that dragon warhammer. Well, we unfortunately got no dragon warhammer from that task, but we have a superior here, so let's see what we get. Oh, missed battle staff. That I think that is actually the first for the team. We have a couple of dust battle staffs, but uh, that is the first missed one. Not sure what the use for it is, but I'm sure there is some use for it. Konar, you have forced my hand. I am going to take the maximum amount of Vetion kills because I might as well do it on task. I need 50 kill count anyways for the achievement diaries. So let's do it. 39 kill count. Unfortunately, I can't use a Slayer helmet because I'm going to use a Salve amulet. But this is the motivation I need to uh, get it done. So initially, I was going to try to do with the Vigora's Chain Maze, but uh, you need to risk like 1000 ether, and we don't really have any ether every single time, and there's quite a lot of PKers there, so I'm just going to go with a Bandos God Sword and have it on Crush. Right now, I'm not really risking anything. I think what I'm risking at most is the Proslite, the Climbing Boots, Rune Gloves, which are like nothing worth, and then all my potions, and the Salve Amulet. I can obviously easily get a lot more Salves, so I should be fine with this setup. So if you're using a Vigora's Chain Maze, you usually get one attack in here, and then now you would get two in, but because I'm using a BGS, I only have time for one, and then I have to go back here, and I have to wait and make sure that I can attack right away when I click the boss, because otherwise I will take a hit. So it is going to be quite time consuming to do it this way, but it is the best way, I think. Scrap all of this I just said because I realized we have some Rakian spears and I could just make a Hasta with that and I think that with a Dragon Defender is better than the Bandos God Sword. Here it is, we got the spear turned into a Hasta. Now I can't actually equip this yet so I will have to do some Barbarian training but I think I brought all the things to do that. Man, I can't believe I have not finished this quest. Uh, type of Wana Trio is now done. I had to complete this to be able to actually uh, wear the uh, Hasda, as this guy says in the chat about time. Yeah, I haven't been able to fish Karambans on the account since the beginning, because, I mean, everyone else on the team already has, so leech time. That is the Barbarian training done, so let's see if we can equip this. There it is. The Hasda is now equipped, and we are going to try to get that Vetion kill count done. Now with the Hasta, I should be able to get two hits in, and also I have the Defender, so I have even more accuracy, so one hit. And should be able to do two hits here, and then we move over to this tile again, and yeah, it's still stuck, so I can definitely do this. Oh, that is a drop I was actually waiting for, 100 Super Compost, I was completely out, so that's going to be so nice. Oh, Longbone? Really? I think that's 1 in 400. Unfortunate. There it is, the first Raynor drop. That's 100 Prey Potions, which is actually so good. I'm going to send this to Max Nick. He will get the Herblore experience for making them, and that's going to help for my Slayer supplies. Oh, that's back to back. 100 Raynors again. That is like one of the best drops, if not the best drop I can get. Except, of course, the Ring of the Gods, but uh, 200 Prey Pots already in two kills. I mean, listen, if you're going to PK me, that's all good. It's in the wilderness, but do you really need this many people for one person? I'm risking like, I would say 15k, maybe a bit more than that, maybe like 20k or 30k. But yeah, congrats to them, I guess, on that 1k split. As you can see in the chat, it says I killed a 39 Vetion, but I only have 37 kill counts. It's because it works kind of weird sometimes if I do like half of its HP and damage, I leave because I get PK'd, sometimes that can count as a kill, I'm not really sure why, but uh, I'm going to stay here until I have 50 KC anyways. Dragon Bones? Oh, I even forgot you could get these, but yeah, that's also a very good drop, like uh, 30k prayer experience or something. Here it is. This is the last kill of Vetion that I will have to do. Kill number 50. And this is actually such a relief to be done with, honestly. I mean, the loot was very nice, the 200 Raynars, and I actually got another Super Compost drop. But uh, there we go, that is the achievement done. I won't come back here for a very long time. This actually took basically the entire day. If you're wondering how many times I got PK'd, I probably died like 8 times and I got attacked maybe 15. Yeah, that's how many PKers are here. Back to Slayer, and that is the first Drake's task, actually, of the account, and I just barely have the level for it, so that's why 84 Slayer is the requirement. They can drop some nice upgrades for the boots, so I am just going to try and do this. Oh my god, I actually got the Drake's Claw, which is the best item I could get. This is to get the Brimstone Boots, so I'm just going to go over here and do that in the same clip. I think I can do it at least. 
Not sure if you need a chisel or anything, but uh, this is just straight up better versions of the uh, Boots of Stone. So let's do that. Oh yeah, I, I need to have them equipped so I don't die here, but I guess I go outside and do it. At the end of the task as well, 22 kills left, so let's add them and proceed with the alchemical combination. And that is the Boots of Brimstone, look at that, it has pretty good stats. I'm definitely going to use that for all the future tasks in this dungeon. Oh my god, I actually completely missed this because I wasn't thinking about getting ranged experience from the cannon, but uh, that is a 95 ranged. I'm getting pretty close to 99, which is uh, very nice to see. It's going to be very helpful at next, especially in the future. Another boss task that's actually in the wilderness. There is a task I still need to do for this, which is uh, use no prey potions for 10 kills in a row. So basically just pray at the altar close to it. Also, we still need the Odium Wards from this boss. So I'm going to do 39. And uh, we have three Odium Wards of all the other types, but uh, we still need three from this boss. So if I would get any of them, that would complete an Odium Shield. Killing the Chaos Fanatic with a Slayer Helmet, the Crystal Body and the Bow Faradinan is ridiculously good. And I think this should be the last kill and I hope that the achievement is going to be done. I was thinking about doing this pretty soon anyway, so might as well do it now that I got a Slayer task for it. That should be the last hit. And do we get it? Yes, we do get the achievement. Praying to the gods. Oh. My. God. I just got the pet. Uh, it's 1 in 1000 from uh, this boss. I think it's 1 in 300 from the actual Chaos Elemental, but I guess it's time to ensure it. I have 6.6 .6 million, so I don't really care that much about 500k, so let's do that and let's check. We now have the Hunlef, or Younglef, I guess, and the Pet Chaos Elemental. Two pets I actually really like. And that is the task done. I did not get a Odium Shard, but come on, I can't complain with that Chaos Elemental pet. Pretty happy with that. And actually, next task is going to be task number 200, so that will be quite a lot of points. But here we are. After these die, I will actually get 85 Slayer, which is the second to last big Slayer milestone. There it is. And uh, the last now we need is 87 for the Kraken to be able to complete the entire Hard Combat Diary. But with that 85, I'm going to finish this task and then try with all my Slayer points, I have like 800 of them, to try to get an Abyssal Demon task to get that Abyssal Sire done. 189 Abyssal Demons, the perfect task. And I only had to use like 300 points for that, so not too bad. I did skip a couple of tasks. I probably should not have skipped like uh, 12 Black Dragons or something like that. But I really just wanted to get into the Abyssal Sire. If you're wondering, by the way, the drop rate of the Unsired, which is the rare drop you can get from the boss, is 1 in 100, and I need to do exactly 100 kills. So I should get one, theoretically, from doing all these kills, but this is going to be very time-consuming. The boss is very slow to kill, and uh, yeah, let's just get into it. On the screen right now, you can see all the achievements that this boss has that I have to get. The uh, Don't Stop Moving and Don't Whip Me is very easy, but they grow up too fast, and Abyssal Adept is the harder ones. So I will have to figure out a way to do that. I do have some plans, so let's see if those will work. Here we go, this is the first kill on the account for some Abyssal Ashes, and we got the Don't Whip Me Challenge done, which is just uh, to not get hit by any of the tentacles. I did take a hit from one of the Miasma pools, so I did not get that, but I should get it within a very short amount of kills. Pretty sure this is the one. Yes, Don't Stop Moving, and also got an Elite Task, Perfect Sire, so yeah, that was a good kill. Now let me talk about the last combat achievement except the 100 kills I had to do, which is called They Grow Up Too Fast. This one is very tricky, especially with my gear. If I had max gear, this would not be as much of a challenge as it was. It ended up taking me around 3 hours to complete this. I used two different strategies and the second one was the successful one, but if I had, as I said, max gear, I could have done it with the first one, but it just turned out to be way too difficult. And what the achievement is, is that you do not let any of the minions, when they spawn, turn into the bigger versions, and they do that pretty quickly. So you basically have to kill all the minions really fast when they spawn. Now, after you kill the vents, the first phase of the boss is pretty easy to kill them because it only spawns one at a time, and they have 15 HP, and you have a decent amount of time to kill that 15 HP, so that is not the difficult part. 
But when it goes into the second phase, it will actually spawn 4 to 5 minions in the same tick, and you have to kill them all pretty fast. And this is where I used Chinchompas. If I did manage to kill all of them before any of them turned into the bigger versions, I had an infinite amount of time before the actual DPS race started, so this was a good time to know if I was doing well or not. Now when you get the boss down to 139 HP, it will teleport you and this is where the massive DPS race starts because it will spawn a massive amount of minions, there is no way you can kill these, so you just have to burst down the boss really quickly before any of them mature. So my initial strategy was to run away from the explosion and then use the dragon halberd spec because I do not have the crystal halberd which definitely would be a lot better but it is still possible to do this without dragon halberd but this is where my lower stats really come into play. Having like 85 strength or 80 attack really does uh, damage my DPS chances here and getting down 139 HP in a few seconds is very difficult. So after doing probably like 10 attempts and failing every single one at this stage mostly, I actually decided to change this strategy to a way more risky one, but it felt like I had to do it to be able to do it. I actually changed my spellbooks over to Lunars to be able to vengeance the massive hit that always hits 60 damage when the boss explodes, and that reflects 45 damage. So that would be 45 less damage I would have to do in the DPS race, which should be able to help me enough to get the kill. The more annoying part of having Lunars though overall in the fight is that you don't have Shadow Barrage and you don't have Blood Barrage either, but Shadow Barrage actually stuns the boss in the first phase so you can kill the vents, but if you do not have that you have to do 50 damage to the boss and that will stun it instead of just using the Shadow Barrage which obviously is instant. But probably after an hour of doing vengeance attempts, I actually finally got the achievement and as I said this took me around 3 hours to do. If you're on max account though, this is not nearly as hard. If you just have the crystal halberd, you can just basically pray for massive specs with the really high combat stats and finish the boss pretty quickly. The halfway point for some coins, 50 kill count done. So 50 more to go but no unsired yet unfortunately, but we still have a good chance. And here we go, this is kill number 100 on the Abyssal Sire. Unfortunately, unless I get one here, I did not get a single unsired. But that is now all the achievements done on the Abyssal Sire for the Hard Combat Diary. And I'm very happy with that. I might do a couple of more kills to try to get that unsired. Now, this is good news. Look at this. I actually got a bottomless compost bucket donated to me by Dark Will Order. He got an additional one, and I think I am the last one to actually have this. So he just gave it to me, and the volcanic ash as well. And with the super compost I got from Vetion, I can make that into ultra compost. When you put it into the bottomless bucket, it actually doubles it. So I will have 400 ultra compost for uh, future farm runs. That is beautiful. Ended up doing 29 more kills and still no unsired. I feel like my time can be better spent somewhere else, so this is where I'm going to stop, but uh, yeah, finished every achievement for the boss. Finishing the task on just the normal Abyssal Demons, but I actually forgot to show you guys the loot. If you're interested on what I got from the Abyssal Sire, this is it. 129 kills for 6.3 million worth, and I think the most important things here is the orbs. I think that's very good for the uh, battle staves I have to make them into actual good profit, as well as the cannonballs is pretty good, 900 of them, that's quite a lot of time saved smithing them in the future if I would need them, and yeah, overall the loot is pretty decent. Look at that, that is the first superior abyssal demon for the account, and we get... A totem base, that is not bad. I still need more totems for Scotiso. I think this is the last base I need. I have one more totem, I have 8 KC, and that means I only need two more totem pieces to be able to complete Scotiso. Have a look at this in the chat. 96,900 experience from this task. That is, of course, mostly from the Sire, but yeah, the Sire is not terrible experience, but it takes a very long time to kill, so overall, in the long run, the XP per hour is not the best. Now, with the Abyssal Sire done, though, the next goal, of course, is going to be to complete the Kraken tasks, which are the last Slayer requirements I will work on for quite a while, and that is 87 Slayer. Of course, I also got some nice amounts of experience from doing the Sire, as I just said, and I actually picked up a new task of Abyssal Demons, because they are pretty good at barraging experience as well, so that's going to be another task I can get good experience from. But uh, for now, I'm going to end the video here. Happy with the progress. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see the future uploads. And until next time, guys, take care.